member for Edmonton Meadowlark. Thank, thank you, Mr. Speaker. It has been brought to my attention that due to fierce competition for finite operating time between surgeons, of 1,200 Albertans on a wait list for lung surgery, 250 died waiting on that list, many with lung cancer. I've also been told by others that this happened under Minister Marr and the Honourable Member um, from Sherwood Park, and that Dr. Trevor Thiemann of the College of Physicians and Surgeons and Capital Health and Sheila Weatherill knew about this. Is the Minister of Health and Wellness aware of this? And will he call the Health Quality Council of Alberta and conduct the Honourable an, an inquiry and fatality review? Um, Mr. Speaker, I'm not aware of that, uh, but I'll certainly uh, have a look into it and see what information I can find. The Honourable Member. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Minister. And given that, it has also come to my attention that physicians who raised these issues were either punished or driven out of the province or paid out in millions to buy their silence. And the costs buried on the books under the former Capital Health Region. I'm not surprised that this was never made public. Will the Honourable Minister commit to investigating and auditing these payouts and, and in addition to the deaths and delays in cancer care? The Honourable Minister. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I don't know if those allegations are uh, correct. They're certainly uh, sounding inappropriate to me, uh, but I won't challenge them at this time. I said I will have a look into this uh, issue, and I will do that. Uh, we'll get, the Honourable Member. By a little more. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Given that um, people dying on cancer wait lists are absolutely inappropriate, and I agree with the Minister, he's an honourable, caring, and honest man. Will the Minister conduct an independent forensic audit of AHS and capital health records as it has also come to my attention that there were two sets of books while I was the ministry, one balanced and the other with the details mentioned that may have contributed to the $1.3 billion deficit inherited by Dr. Duckett when he took yeah, over. Ball. Mr. Speaker, I, I said I'll have a look into this matter, but what I'd like to know is where this honourable member is getting this information from, and uh, if, if he's prepared to uh, share that or table it or um, somehow uh, live up to the uh, uh, allegations that he's making. I'm, I'm not aware of them uh, whatsoever.